The new Task Tree UI now gives you much more flexibility when handling certain inputs in actions. For example, inputs where you previously were only allowed to select predefined options like this one, the Do Not Disturb action, you could select one of these modes, for example, No Interruptions or Priority, or in the Flash action, you would only be able to set checkboxes like this manually. But in the new version, in the new Tasker UI, you can now edit any field, be it uh, uh, predefined modes or checkboxes via text. So in this example, I set my mode to DND. I could also select the predefined options, but in this case, I'm setting the variable DND so I can dynamically change the do not disturb mode. So in this case, I'm setting DND to allow all up here. And then when this runs, this variable will contain that value. And if I run this, you can see that DND is no longer applied. If I disable this for this variable and enable this one, which sets DND to no interruptions, notice that this action doesn't change at all. So this variable could come from anywhere, from another task, from an HTTP request, anything. You can now set do not disturb to no interruptions. Check out the icon up here. As you can see, it turned it on with no interruptions. And the same applies to checkboxes. So in this example, I can set tasker layout to a variable. And if tasker layout is set to one, this will come out as true. And so the tasker layout will be used. As you can see, this is a custom layout with a custom icon. If I set tasker layout to anything like, for example, no value at all, then the, the normal Android layout will be used. You can use multiple different uh, values for uh, checkboxes, so either one or true or on, oops, on will work. So for example, if I set it to on, it uses the custom layout. If I set it to off, it doesn't use the custom layout. So as you can see, Tasker is now much more powerful when it comes to these types of input, where you previously would only be able to select, uh, not here, here, would only be able to select predefined values or only be able to select checkboxes. So in the way to use this is you have this little icon here uh, next to any input that supports this text mode and for example, a route allow repeat callers, I could change this from a, check, a checkbox to text. And here I can write anything I want. I could write the value directly, or I could use a variable from up here. You get the point. So the, this is the new, much improved and dynamic uh, previous uh, pre-select, predefined options and checkbox checkbox value values. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.